Photography. I'm Suzanne Ridgway and welcome back to my channel. So if you're new, don't forget to smash on that subscribe word. We're going to talk about great ways to reduce your food bill by hundreds of dollars for any size family. We're going to go over them. We're going to go through my pantry shelves and freezers and refrigerator to see what I need for the next week or so to feed my family. We're going to start with my meal planning board. Then we're going to start creating my list on what we're low on or out of. We're going to plan from our pantry, the shop with a list, use sale flyers and use them often, coupons, especially digital and online, leftovers, we always use our leftovers. Whenever we go shopping, never go on an empty stomach. And these are just some of the ideas. Let's get started. When we get to 1,700, we're going to issue out two $10 Dollar Tree gift cards, one for new subscribers, one for people who comment. If you're new, become a part of my growing community. It is important to give me a shout out so I know who you are, so I can call your name or may call your name. Anyone who's been around a long time and knows all this information and they have to wait out six days if they've won in the past. You need to be a U.S. resident and subscribed. We are going to be selling Lotus Eat t-shirts. We've sold a few of them already with limited sizes and quantities. Small, medium, large, extra large, $14.99 plus shipping and handling. U.S. residents only. Message me on Facebook, give that page a like, or email me, countryboots at 1268 at yahoo.com. These are ways to save big on your grocery bill. I have my meal planning board. I'm going to show you some great tips and tricks on how to save big on the grocery bill. I will guarantee to lower your monthly food purchases. If you're new, thank you so much for dropping by and checking me out. Don't get to smash on that subscribe word. One of the easiest ways to reduce your food bill is to plan from your pantry. And what I mean by that is you're going to grab a board and you're going to create a meal planning board with theme nights and a rotation. And we have a meal planning board players list. Please check that out. You can go to your pantry and see what you have available and jot down meal ideas of what you have. Always eat from your pantry first. And when you start getting low, write down what you're getting low on and create a list. That brings me to number two. Shop with a list. We always have a grocery list when we shop. My husband is very articulate. He has an Excel spreadsheet set up and he knows what we're getting low on and he takes that information and puts it onto a single shopping list between BJ's, Aldi, Walmart, Market 32, and ShopRite, the stores that we shop at most. And we shop with sale prices only. And that brings us to my third point. Use the sale flyers often. When you shop from the sale flyers, you're going to save a lot of money. ShopRite, you can save up to 90% on your groceries. We recently had a shopping haul where we spent around $83. And after all the prices and came down from the sales and the digital coupons and coupons came down to $47 and we saved $38. That's like around paying $9 for a boatload of groceries that otherwise would have been expensive. So always shop smart, use your sale flyer, create a list and create a list from what you're getting low on from meal planning from your pantry. Coupons. I mentioned coupons. There's all kinds of ways to get coupons. You can email companies. Sometimes they give out free coupons. There's all kinds of coupons offers online. Stores, when you walk in, have big displays with coupons and sale flyers. Always check them out. Your mail, you may receive an advertiser or some kind of weekly paper with coupons and deals and super coupons. Online, once again, digital coupons. A lot of stores have digital coupons. 
sometimes you have to spend ten dollars or more to get these coupon sale prices but it is really worth it and you're going to get that percentage off from 50 percent more on your total bill when i meal plan i use my leftovers as much as possible throughout the entire week we have a round two meal on monday part of my theme night with our rotation system so almost every monday we're having some kind of leftovers always eat your leftovers this is going to reduce your bill by hundreds especially if you use your leftovers every single week for lunches next day freeze them in a container write down what's on it and how to make it put it in your freezer rather than buying tv dinners you have a homemade meal that you made yourself and froze for a later date we do this all the time i made meatballs recently i had ton of ground beef so I made a baker's dozen of meatballs so this week when we do our spaghetti sauce I don't have to do meatballs they're already in the freezer I just take them out and thaw them another great way to save money when you're shopped is don't go hungry what I mean by this when you're shopping and shopping with your kids make sure you have full stomachs so you don't end up being the proud owner of aisle nine, whatever aisle that is in the store. You're gonna buy buying things that you normally wouldn't buy because it's eye candy and you're hungry and you said, oh, that looks good. And you're gonna fill your cart up quicker. Full tummies. Another way to save money when you're shopping is know your store's layout. Know where all the hot items are weekly sale prices, and new items. When I walk into my supermarkets, like a Walmart, they usually have the hot items in the front, like watermelon, things for summer. People are doing parties, going on vacation, big bags of chips, stuff for bulk items, like big boxes of juices for kids, are usually in the front. And then they have wow items with big signs and colorful advertising to catch your attention. If you haven't seen the circular, you'll see wow with the sale price and then underneath it, what it was. So always, always know your store's layout. When you're shopping, especially at a Walmart, try to break it up. Try not to do food items and non-food items on the same shopping trip, especially if you're there with your entire family and you have your husband and your kids with you and you're going all over the store from clothing to electronics to home and garden to food to frozen. And that's exhausting. Your kids are going to start getting grouchy, begging for things that you don't want to put in your cart. If you can, and they're old enough, leave them home. Leave them with a trusted friend, neighbor, or family member. Have comfortable clothes and shoes on when you shop. And do things moderately. Do the food items. And if you don't need a ton of non-food items, do them another time. We tend to break up our trips. We're about 20 minutes from our closest Walmart. Aldi is about 15 minutes. 20 minutes to shop right, 15 to price shopper. So everything's kind of out from where we are. The only thing I have here in my village is a gas station and then a little convenience store down at the bottom. And we have a library, a post office, and a car garage. That is it here. So, oh, and we also have a four star restaurant, which is really good, the hill. But other than that, no groceries, and I will never buy groceries at the convenience store or the gas station, no offense to them those are just really expensive even in a pinch i'll go over to the stewards 12 minutes from the house and pick up milk there when you're shopping and you're shopping with your list you've meal planned from your pantry and you use the flyers you have your digital coupons ready you're not hungry when you go and you know the store's layout you're ready to go over to the supermarket and pick up every item that you need. We're going to go through my freezer together, see what we need in my cupboard, 
and my pantry shelves for our shopping trip this week to help you save 50% or more. So we are the 16th, but we did take out last night. So we're going to probably pick up something fresh when we go shopping to throw in the air fryer. We're going to probably do a whole chicken, which we're going to pick up at BJ's. I'm using my board here to plan my shopping list. So I'm going to put down whole chicken. And then we do a round two meal. And we're going to probably do chicken soup because we haven't had that in a long time. Pretty sure we have a set of pork chops left in the freezer. I do know I need sauce. I'm going to do sauce, peas, puree, and crushed tomatoes. I'm going to probably do two, two, and two. That's what we usually do when we get the Great Value brand. Great Value brand. That is another great tip to reduce your money. Check out the store brands. They are a lot cheaper than the national brands, sometimes by 50%. Like the great cheese, I get the deluxe cheese. I don't buy the craft because that's seven, eight dollars, depending on where you buy it. I get it for around four and change at Walmart, and I'm saving at least 50% on that cheese slices that I love to have on my sandwiches and eggs or whatever I use it on, and that saves money. So check out store brands and generics. Store brands. My husband bought extra hamburgers while on vacation. I have these tin pork chops that we can throw in the air fryer. Now we're going to stock up on snap peas and broccoli and corn. And that is a ribeye we have left. I think we have a chuck roast. And we're probably going to need an au jus packet. Frozen broccoli. Frozen snap. I need potatoes too. Before vacation, we stock up on juice, so I don't need to buy that. Looks like water's pretty good. We grab popcorn, and I have another thing of hot chocolate on deck. The shelves look pretty full. Pasta looks really good, as well as peanut butter. I do need ginger ale. I think there's a sale today that ends. These are older flyers from Market 32. So when we're looking for meats that we need, we always go through here and check the BOGOs, which are buy one, get one free. And we check out all the sale prices of the meats, as well as the vegetables. And this is what I meant by the wow signs. They're in big print, bold wording, bright colors. From barbecue sauce to cereal to whatever you can think of. I know I want to write down an au jus packet. So I'm going to write down McCormick's. And we're going to go check the cabinets in the kitchen. We've got Spanish rice stuffing. Jambalaya, rice roni, generic rices. We're good there. And I've already written down all the sauces that we need to make sure we have it for Italian night. Stocked up in cream soups and fruit. I think I want to get a 
bag of onions. Just check out this produce. Whenever you're on shore and you say think, always check. We got apples here. Cuties. Yeah, three onions. So I'm good to go with onions. And I don't need apples or cuties. I do know we're going to need Pringles. Those are half empty. Just going to write down chips. And put down ice cream. And eggs. Pretty good with the Gatorade. We just bought it before we left. We have a ton of water still, so that can wait till next week. And I'm going to look in the refrigerator. I know we have milk. I'm going to see how the egg situation is. Full gallon of milk. I'm going to pick up an extra dozen eggs. I'm going to write down cheese on the list. The plain yogurt we need to use up so I can make smoothies for the kids this week. Salsa, cottage cheese. It's good through August. It looks like we're getting low on butter. Nope, we got four bar bars of butter there. My husband is probably going to need soda soon. Our keep brush broke, so we keep drinks down there. And I got to write down coffee on the list. So that is a BJ's item. Just opened a bag of peanuts, so I'll be getting a new bag, so I have it for next week. Good on coffee meat, and I know we need butter spray, and we're good on sugar. We need garbage bags. Now that is a non-food item, but because it's at BJ's, it's all in line of sight. So we do pick up non-food items and non-food items on the same day at BJ's. Walmart's is a lot bigger and spread out more. I think we're going to need Ziploc bags soon. And because I said I think we we're going to double check the bag situation after I look in our little freezer. The freezer here, all the meat, those are strudel crossings. That's probably a chuck. One of them's pork, so I have ground pork here. pork chops, so I don't need a set of pork chops. Those pancakes were good on. There's some bell peppers. Looks like hot dogs. Our bratwurst, that's chicken that I can thaw out. And, and we gotta get up all these open bags and use them up. Those are organic tater rounds I cannot wait to try. We got them for the food pantry. We have a food pantry hall player list. Please check that out. Looks like we only need pork ribs. Put down pork ribs. Let's go check out the Ziploc bags. We created a pretty healthy shopping list from my pantry shelves and freezer, which is part of your pantry. We can hold off on bags. I got another sleeve of them. That's excellent. 
There may be a coupon coming up, so we're going to hold out. Garbage bags, I have two left, so I can't hold out on that. They last a good six to eight months. We buy the bulk. Do we need another scour here? I need lunch stuff for my kid who starts work Monday. We'll be doing lunch videos again. I'm going to hang up cooking oil or baking. We're good to go here. That's it for this video. I hope all this information will help you create the perfect shopping list. So you can go to the store and get all your items by using the sale flyer. Using information from your pantries and freezers and refrigerator. Knowing the store's layout, not going hungry when you go shopping. And if you can, go by yourselves so you don't put a ton of stuff in your shopping cart. My kids are older now, so I really don't have to worry about putting too much extras in my carts. So they go, but they don't go all the time. And then we created everything I needed by doing the research within my home and my meal planning board. Don't forget about the giveaways. Don't forget about the Let Us Eat t-shirts. Don't forget to subscribe. Smash on that subscribe button down below. Thank you for watching.